If you have a GPS with mapping installed, you can view and utilize that mapping in a piece of software called Basecamp. Basecamp comes when you buy a GPS from Garmin. It's also free to download and the link to download that is on the Command and Ramblers website under useful links. So we're looking at Garmin Basecamp and I've got my GPS plugged into the USB port and we're seeing the whole of the UK because I've selected the Garmin Great Britain Discoverer a map which is loaded on the GPS. If I want to download a route and show it on the mapping I have to click on my collection first and then the word file and then import from my collection. Here's one here you can uh, navigate wherever you want and uh, to, to find files that you've uploaded from the website. So here's a folder and we've got a number of them there. I'll choose the first one Bethlehem four and a half miles open that route. It's now in my collection and if you double click, double left click, it'll show you the waypoints within the route. If you wish you can rename them or manipulate them. And it zoomed the map to the position where the route represents Bethlehem. Now if you wish you can print this route and that's done by clicking file and print. You have control over the, uh, the area that, uh, that you want to print with page setup and, um, and so on. I won't go into that in detail right now. You can preview the pr print before you uh, printed or alternatively you could use the uh, Windows snipping tool to snip out what you want. Okay so that's easy. Um, it's in the My Collection folder which is actually on your computer. It's not on your GPS at this point so you have to right click and copy it. Click on Internal Storage and then paste it onto your GPS and then when you unplug from the USB port and turn it on you'll find this route under the routes uh, menu on the GPS. It's as simple as that. If you want to take it off you right click and delete and you'll want to do that in my collection as well. Right click and remove and delete unit content as it says. Of course you can do more than just upload routes that have already been created. You can create a route. So I was looking at a town called Crimmock in Pembrokeshire and I searched for it and having searched for it double click on the name and it'll take you to that location. I might want to make a little route around Krimic. So the thing to do is first of all go to my collection and then create a track and from that track we will extract a route. So I'll start here at the public house. I'm going to right click, select, select begin track, and I'm going to walk out this footpath. I'll, I'll start that again. I'll walk out this footpath, get to here, and so on. Maybe I'll come down the road.
and back to the beginning. Finish the route. Now we have the track. I'm going to right click and rename the, the track with a dot. Why am I doing that? It's because from this track I'm going to create a route and in front of every waypoint there will be a dot which you won't notice very much. Here's the dot and that will allow me to have consecutively numbered waypoints within my route. I don't need the track now so I'm going to right click on that and delete it and then I'm going to find out how long this route is. It's 2.9 miles so I'm going to rename instead of a, a dot I'm going to call it Krimic 3M it's in my collection so what I've got to do is copy that click on internal storage and then paste now I've got the Krimic root on my GPS I can simply close the software and safely remove my GPS and I have it on there if there are any questions uh, feel free to email the webmaster in Command and Rambler's website and this person will direct the question to myself so good luck and goodbye for now